We're losing! Teamwork, guys. More team. They're burying us alive! Wow, shit. Jeez, Louie. Honey, don't you want to beat those bastards? Screw up! What are you doing? Dead. What are people doing? Is this early access to? Hey, let me tell you something, bro. Get out there now and do the best you can. All right. Sunday night is all right for a podcast, episode 175. It's two guys with a hat and beards. <laughs> welcome yep. to welcome to the Bearded Hat Podcast. I, I, I th- I've got to do something because like this is real dark and shows up yeah. and nothing else does. Like yours is nice and even, you know, you have a very nice even beard there, Mike. Okay, you've been keeping it trim too. I mean, normally it says you know it's way out there, but you've been keeping it trim, neat and trim, and that. And I keep mine pretty trim because that's how Barb likes it. But I got this thing going on here that just kind of, you know, and my hair is just blacker and black. I got no hardly any gray hair in my hair. It's, no. it's, it's all right here. Same, 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 same. I don't think I maybe have one or two gray hairs that I've spotted over my lifetime, and it's just all mm-hmm. in my face. I don't know what that says. I don't know what the yeah, me neither. What the, what the scientific study is behind gray. Like it's mine is probably white. I have like white facial hair. Like what the hell is going on there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look. I mean, look at that down there. It's all. Yeah, I need to get some just just for men or something. Now do you get a, in there? Now do you get a neck beard? No. Well, I mean, I, I do, but I, I trim it and shave it. I, I, I trim all of this off. My beard goes to about, you know, right here. I like have a natural so all, line. All this I shave. Like I don't a have natural line. Like I don't shave. Like I, I don't get any, I don't get anything on my neck. Like that whole time. Oh, you're I so had, lucky. That whole time I had a beard, like that Z yeah. top shit. The yeah. guy's like always like pulling it up thinking he's got to like shave my neck. And he's like, there's nothing here. Like, like Yeah. That is awesome. I wish I had that. I wish I had that. No, this this shit here will grow out, and I gotta get my razor and shave it. And, you know, yeah. tidy up my lines and stuff. You know, yeah, the here and uh, you know, like along my cheekbone. Like, yeah, just the neck part. You know, like you, you know how they make fun of guys with neck beards. I don't have a neck beard. I just mm-hmm. it just all grows oh, out my face. I could, yeah, I could. This this could all kind of grow out and be nasty and shit. I don't, I don't like that. It gets all it gets all like itchy and bugs me. No. Down here, so I got I got shave and take care of that. Yeah. Well, it's good to hear your voice and see your face tonight, Matthew. Hopefully, uh, you're on the mend. We'll leave it at that. A work in progress. Yes, we will. A work in progress, shall we say? Yeah. Yep. Um, we have not heard from. I want, I want to thank everyone for the well wishes that they yes. sent me. We got a box of cards somewhere behind here. I'll eventually get them to you. Um, yeah, I heard someone sent me some candy, but I don't think it's going to come my way. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, we don't know where Eric is tonight. We're just assuming he's at the job, and we'll leave it at that he's as been, well. Assume he's he's got real world stuff to deal with. So, so here we are, Sunday night. Um, there's a couple callouts here. You need some merchandise. Don't forget, you can go to bitly dot uh, bitly slash bff merch. You can like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Bad fodder figures. Just search that on YouTube. And uh, Matt, give out the phone number while I'm collecting my thoughts here. Yeah, because we need some voicemails. We need people to call in and talk to us. That interaction and stuff like that. Um, our operators, you know, we're paying these operators to take these voicemails, and they're not getting any. And you know, times are tough. Okay, the glove box gaming money has dried up some. You know, so you know, I don't want to leave these operators off. So give these operators something to do. Number is five zero eight six five nine B F F S. 508-659-2337. Operator is just sitting there waiting, hmm. waiting to hear your voice. So are we, actually. Operator? Operator? Operator. 
So um, let's see. You know, we're right here. I can't. I cannot believe it. We're at the end of August. Labor yeah. Day weekend is coming up. Uh, your son is already back in school. Mm-hmm. My kids go back Starting to school. Starting this past week. Yeah. My uh, three boys go back to school on Wednesday coming up here September 1st. So that only means one thing, Matt, football. I know you're holding on to baseball there with your Reds hat. Um, my Red Sox are circling the drain only because, you know, they've been playing like 500 yeah. baseball, but the Yankees just won 13 games in a row. And – Imagine winning like 13 games in a row, but then not being able to get into first place because the Devil Rays have just been just as hot. And so mm-hmm. the Red Sox keep, you know, they'll win a few, lose a few, win a few, lose a few, and you can't gain, gain ground that way. So they're circling the drain. So now all attention is going to football. I just watched a little bit of the uh, Patriots Giants while I was having dinner. And I, I am predicting bad things for my Patriots this year. I'm going to say, remember, it's a 17 game season this year. Yes, so I'm, mm-hmm. I'm saying six and eleven for the Patriots. What is your wow? What is your prediction for the Cincinnati Bengals? I want to say um, like a, a seven and ten or something like that. So, so pretty pretty close to the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, has would has uh, Joe played at all this um, postseason or not? Joe Joe played today. He played. He he, he did some snaps today out there. Uh, he was insistent on wanting to go out and get some snaps in and stuff like that. Um, kind of get around. And I think I, I'm not sure because I didn't get to watch it, but I'm pretty sure it was only like two, three snaps. And they was like, okay, it's time to come out. <laughs> you know, it's just it's 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 a sad situation. Mm. Poor Joe. I. I Poor Bengals. I, I I don't know, man. I, it's going to be it's going to be a scary season, dude. They used to have a lot of games opening night. Remember that? Like they'd have like three mm-hmm. or four games. They only have them maybe because of COVID. They're only having one this year on uh, Thursday, yeah the Thursday night Dallas against uh, Tampa Bay. So yeah. um, looking at the calendar here, the season kicks off Sunday the twelfth. So um, we'll have to come up with predictions at some point, like we do annually. And see, yeah, pro, uh, come up with a prediction for uh, the Super Bowl and, and stuff like that. Well, well, I, I predict the Browns are going to be the AFC Central champions this year. They got a stab defense the, for sure. I, I don't. Sure I believe. I believe the Browns are going to be number one. Okay, you got a few. Yep. You got you got a little bit to still think on that, but. Um, <laughs> I'm not, you know, Baker Mayfield had a nice second half last year. I'm just not convinced yeah. of it. But they did get a hell of a defense, though, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So here we are. Um, no voicemails. Got the the uh, predictions out of the way. I know besides your um, your illness, anything else going on? How has your week been? It's been hot around here, man. It's just been steamy steamy hot unbearable at times you know i'm sitting down here and my ac unit's right outside here and that thing's just constantly running burning you know i even got some fans upstairs to help blow some air around to kind of help ease the pain of it a little bit and um it's just been hot and steamy here and and just pop up thunderstorms that just kind of show up and it rains for about 15 20 minutes and then stops and moves on and that um, but you know, we've taught Chris first started uh, freshman high school this year. And I don't, you know, we've talked about this before, you know, parents at work and have jobs and stuff like that. And we, and our high school doesn't have bus service and school high school doesn't start until like seven forty five. So how are these kids supposed to get to school when most parents are at work by then? You know, and then they get out at three in the afternoon. All right, so, and, uh, so let's back up here. How come the school doesn't have bus service? It because they don't have the money for it, and there's a state law here in Ohio that if a public school provides bus service for the high school, the public school, they also have to provide it for people that want to go to a private school for no cost. And there's no private schools around here. The closest private school is probably a half hour away. And so if someone wanted to go there, they would have to provide bus service 
all the way down there and back just for maybe two, three kids. Mm. Okay. Um, and it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be cost worthy for them to do that. Mm. Well, I've never had a job in my life that started before eight o'clock. At least, you know, I could, I could start early if I wanted to, but my hours were never pre eight. Um, but yeah, the afternoon seems like the bigger piece, right? Like most people, I know you're an early riser, but most people are not at work by 7.45. I mean, sure, you could drop your kid off at 7.30 or whatever. He's got to hang outside for 15 minutes, sure. <laughs> talk to his friends. Yeah. Um, but the bigger piece is like the afternoon. Like um, how close is this? The high school is probably not close for everybody, right? It's, it's not walking distance for him, is it? No. I mean, in a pinch, he could. He could walk to his grandmother's house because it's in a subdivision right across the street or her. Yeah. But, you know, he could walk down there in a pinch if something were to happen. Um, but, yeah, it's, a, it's just right. not convenient. Well, you got to do it like the uh, the Euros do, man. You got to get your bikes. I mean, we are a society here in the U.S. that just thinks about cars, buses, and all this shit. And a lot, of, a lot of the population in other places in the world, cars are secondary. In inner city type shit, they're just all using bikes. You, I saw it when I went over there and toured, and it's only gotten bigger. And that's the other thing. There's no sidewalks. There's no sidewalks. I mean, there, there's like at the corners, there's the curb cuts. You know, you got the little concrete pad at the corners, you know, but then they go nowhere. So think what? Yeah, we, don't, know, have any, we don't have any sidewalks out here in the country. Yeah, it's, 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 it's terrible. You're, you're 100% correct. Transportation, public transportation in the, in the United States is absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um. Especially as it's, more and more people move out of the cities and go live in the burbs and go live in the country, right? Then you got all these yeah. areas that are inundated with people and there's no there's no public service, so they're all relying on cars to go everywhere. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah. It, it, yeah, and it's unfortunate. Everything going and, on. So, but we we're, we're kind of lucky. We his friend um, picks him up in the morning and takes him to school. So Barb and I don't worry about in the morning, and then in the morning, or I'm sorry, in the afternoon. She goes and picks him up and then drops his friend off and then brings him home. So yeah. we're, no we're fortunate situation. right now. We're fortunate right now that we can get that working out and do that. Yeah, but not everybody has a – has a. Um, well, first of all, not everybody's married and has a spouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not mm -hmm. everybody has a spouse that works a night job, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're – like so, I said, we're, we're, we're lucky, but it's not yeah. the case all around. Well, you know, I'll tell you what. My parents never dropped me off and never picked me up, right? Oh, me neither. Uh, um, I, I either mean, rode unless, my bike. Unless, unless it was inclement, inclement weather, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I rode. I walked, rode my bike. Or you know, I took the public bus. I took the public bus, too. Yeah, I lived. I didn't live out in the boonies. I lived in the inner, not inner yeah, city. Yeah, me too. But I lived right. in the, uh, yeah. greater, the greater Boston area where there was, you know, public mm -hmm. transit, the MBTA. Mm -hmm. um, took yeah, the bus me too. to school. Yeah, old Route 78. Took it to St. James. And I took it to Roger Bacon. 80. Route 80. Uh, Route 78. I, they, I remember when they when the, they went from 25 cents to like 35 cents. I think maybe by the time I was done, it was 50 cents. We, 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 we got a little plastic bus card, and the guy was supposed to punch it, you know, every day when he got on. Yeah. And he and he wouldn't punch it. You know, he's like, oh, get on that bus. And there was times, like on the weekends, I'd try and get on the bus with that pass to like go to the mall or something. I'd take that pass on there. And every once in a while, the guy would look at me and say, okay, whatever. You know, get on and sit down. <laughs> yeah. Other people were like, what the hell is this? You can't, this, this, today's not school day. You can't, you can't use this today. Give me, give me your quarter so you can ride the bus. <laughs> we used to have wrestling matches in the back of the bus. This was like, so this was 89. Uh, 89 to like 91, 92, I drove the bus. So the first, you know, by the time I was a junior, I had a car. Junior, senior years, I drove to school. Um, but my, you know, underclassmen, first two years, took the bus back and forth. And boy, they would have fights in the back of the bus, like, you know, Russell. Oh, no. And they would like, you know, like juniors and sophomores would be taking like the freshmen and throwing them in the corner. You know how like King Kong Bundy would like the fat rustlers like would usually like back up against them and like you know just like crush them in the corner they'd be doing yeah. that to throwing these kids into the some kids would be loving it because they just like the attention and you know no one was really like tooling like really like hitting you hard 
but the, right. bus, oh, the bus driver would lose his absolute goddamn mind, pull over and scold everybody. Good times. Good times you can't get back, Matt. You can't get the time back. I was talking I hear to you. My, my new boss at work, and she told me she graduated the same year I did. And I was like, fuck, you look really old. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, and yeah, you know, it's, it's like at work, you know. Again, all these new kids at work, you know, and they look at me like I'm some fucking old heathen or something like that. And I'm looking at them and trying to be nice and talk to them. And I was like, "Hey, some, how long you been here?" I was like, I've "Been here for 25 years." God damn, you've been here for a long time. You're old. I said, "You know what? I'm closer mm-hmm. to retirement than you are." Mm-hmm. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's when they say uh, you started working here before I was born. It's, That's the thing now. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Uh, during your um, your time of need over the last couple of weeks, did you get a chance to play anything or watch anything? Yeah, I was able, I was able to chill out. And um, I did a lot of watching a TV, um, just laying in bed, watching TV. I caught up on Big Bang Theory. On HBO Max. That's a funny little show. Nice, great show to watch when you're not feeling well. You know, just kind of a mindless show to watch and stuff like that. Um, I checked that out. I watched American Horror Stories. Got a new season out. So I started watching that. Um, probably always did like American Horror Story. I didn't know it was, it's been around for like 10 seasons now. I don't know if you ever watched that or not, but it's it's a neat it's a neat little show. Um, a little over the top at times. Um. So I sat around and watched that, watched some Reds games, watched them play, um, watched, um, oh shit, what was it? Because I fell asleep during it, I didn't, mm-hmm. I didn't really, I fell asleep while I was watching, I can't remember what the hell it was, it wasn't that exciting. But I got to, I, I, but then I, you know, when I was able to, I played some Fight Simulator, uh, I had fun with that, trying to go in, I started doing some of the training classes that they have for it. You know, kind of help me actually understand what I'm doing when I'm flying a plane. You know, I think if we're quiet here for like two seconds, you can still hear Paris <laughs> and the guy from Flight Simulator. St- I think they're still on stage. I think I, I think they are. Them. I think I can hear them talking about it now. I, I think they're still there. I think so. I think God, so. God and, fucking you know, damn that, it! That, 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 that taking the glasses off. You know that that was. <laughs> Um, I don't, know what, I don't know what it is about games like that. It's just kind of you get going, you set up, and you fly, and you're like, okay, yeah. You know, I mean, it's nothing special. It's kind of boring for a lot of people. But like, all right, I can sit back and chill and kind of fuck around, fly around, see shit. Um, and then uh, the new season of Destiny came out this past yes. week. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that in the news. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I started playing that um, as much as I could. I'm a little bit behind in the game because I haven't played in a couple of weeks. But um, that is, you know, I'll tell you what, Destiny's got good combat. The combat in that game is, is is a lot of fun, I think. You know, with the jump in, the shooting feels good. The mechanics of it feel very good. Um, the guns are great, you know. So the only problem with Destiny is it's it can be overwhelming with everything they throw at you. And they don't... <sighs> The, they don't hold the, your hand and make it easy way to go. Yeah, and there's a lot of shit. It's like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, well, this is a repeatable. All right, so I got to do this over and over again. You know, the, the grind. The grind hits in real fast now. And like, you know, it used to be you go through, play some story missions and stuff like that, and then you start grinding through the rest of the season. But now you jump in and you do a couple missions. It's like, okay, now... You, do this activity over and over again and and do this to grind up and get some weapons stuff like that mm-hmm. so it's kind of unfortunate there um it's, almost they, spot, go ahead i was, was going to say do they officially um release cross play with that i think so because now when you log in there's your name and like a four digit number and somehow you use that to uh, connect with other people to play across systems. Now, how communication and stuff works, I I don't know. 
yet. Right. You know, you know, as far as getting to a party, if people are just going to get like Discord, you know, party up in Discord or something like that, or some other third party app, or if there's actually. Well, don't forget, um, know, Discord's going to be coming to PlayStation, right? Both two, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. Gonna, maybe that'll solve the problem eventually. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm I mean, do you think it would come on Xbox then too as an app? As a third party app to communicate with people? Do you think Xbox would allow that? I, mean, I don't you know, PlayStation, robust PlayStation in, uh invested in Discord. So that's how that relationship right. came to came to be. I don't know. Well, yeah. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how that works out. Yeah, for sure. So you're happy with it? Or you played past the prologue yeah. or just the prologue? No, I played past the prologue and that, and I've um, going through. I got some quests there. You know, three out of five, six out of ten. You know, your steps and stuff you got to do. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to kind of knock those out, and make them go away, and then go back in. It's, it's um, uh, you know, it used to be solar, void, and arc power. You know, for your uh, for your um weapons and your gear your armor yep now they've added stasis they've added stasis weapons and they've added stasis armor you know to help block against stasis because some of the enemies now have stasis powers they have they have powers now like you do which is pretty wild so are they same type of enemies or they're just uh, same, same enemies same yeah. type they're just giving them more power mm-hmm. yeah same enemies yeah just you know they've got they've got like a powers now you know where they can freeze you and other shit it's like holy shit where'd this come from um i haven't played any multiplayer any crucible or gambit yet they supposedly have been nerfing that left and right with the stasis and everything so hopefully they do because that really ruined yeah know, multiplayer. So i'm hearing people online keeping i hear you you say it as well um, yeah so hopefully that's that's fixed, but I haven't had a chance to play that yet. Um, so I I just I get down the game sometimes and I just I get tired and I want to stop and I just kind of like oh or that or something comes up and I gotta stop. So I don't want to get into an activity that I want to abandon people or abandon someone or something like that. Yeah, you know. Um, but. Uh, besides that, no, nah, not. I mean, it's not too much. Just okay. trying to keep up with things. What about you? Um, you know, a bunch of stuff, really. You know, TV wise, uh, just you know, staying current with Ted Lasso on there. Um, yeah, it's a fun little show. Thirty minutes, you know, episodes. Seems like this ep- this season is more dealing with mental health and things of of that nature. Um, so that's where the sh- the show is sort of turning to at this particular point but um you know who's in that show um the woman the tall woman she sort of looks like um brigitte nielsen remember her remember yeah i know you, i remember her yeah mm-hmm. yeah so the tall woman in this show um you know again you know blonde short shortish blonde hair very tall you know b- b- busty we should say but you know who she is She's the one from uh, Game of Thrones. Shame, shame. She's, oh, really? She's the um, that lady, that like priestess or whatever, that nun-looking lady. Oh, yeah. huh. I'll be damned. Yeah. So, is the uh, second season living up to the first season? You no, said the second season is. Bit, but. Yeah, it has. First season was more, you know, um, you know, happy-go-lucky, you know, more about the soccer team aspect. And now it's getting into more, you know, uh, you know, mental health, divorce, um, you know, people hooking up post-divorce, things like that. You know, uh, some people, you know, the undertones here are certain people, you know, don't know what they got till it's gone type thing. You know, there was a guy on the team who's a um, was a very prominent player in their fictional soccer world, and he retired just because he was an old man and his knees were giving out and. Uh, he was just like stepped away from the game and then his girlfriend, you know, egged him to get back into the game. And so he became a broadcaster and then he realized he didn't want to be a broadcaster. He wanted to be a coach. And so that's sort of where the, one of the uh, parallel stories going on right now, but it's, it's fun. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 
Nice. Uh, then everything else is just gaming. You know, you know, watch some sports stuff. But um, you know, you know, as Eric likes to say, when he was in his his youth, right, he was a connoisseur of women, right. Well, today I was a connoisseur of video games. I dabbled, I dipped in and dipped out in a lot of video games. Really? Uh, mostly not good. Uh, uh -oh. right. Start with the good. I played um, a bunch of Ghost of Tsushima today, uh, specifically yep. the the Iki Island DLC, and just now, is this all the remastered stuff, or it's all the director's cut? Yeah. So you okay. know now now I'm playing, you know, on my new TV, the PS5 version of the game, the director's cut, the DLC, and you're just sitting here. You need a fucking goddamn bib, Matt. You know, because the drool is just coming off. You know, precipitately just just dropping out of the, you know, out of my mouth. It just looks so goddamn good. Right, it's like cool. They just set the bar yeah. like so fucking high. Uh -huh. And then you're yeah. playing, you know, the stupid dual sense controller with you know all the the accoutrements to it. You know, with all the the bells and whistles that they they build into it. So it's just a it's just a phenomenal package, top to bottom. So, um, you know, there's some slight things that maybe they've they've done change, but basically it's ninety nine. Point nine percent, you know, the same game as before. Now, just a different story. You know, you're just DLC. You know, you're basically going to this island where the father died, which is like mm -hmm. the op the opening scene of the game, the the main game. Um, and you go into that island to uh, sort of battle the the demons that are in your head. So, I'm oh. not sure how I'm not sure how long it is, but uh, yeah, it's good to be back in there, trying to build up that muscle memory of playing that game because I think the last time I was like seriously playing that was you know early this year like you know January and February, so it's been a little while since I've actually been you know playing it nonstop. Are you gonna go back and play the whole game over again? I don't think so. We'll see. No, uh, but I don't think so. After this DLC, is there anything else for you to do with it, or is that? Or well, they that released. Be it? They released a standalone um, game for it as well, the multiplayer Legends. You don't need to own uh, the base game anymore. I think you can buy it for like ten or twenty dollars, and that's mm -hmm. more of like a, a horde-based or raid-based type game. You know, it's not. It, I, I do not believe it is PvP. I don't want to say it's like PVE. Okay. Uh, so there's that type of stuff to do, and I hear that's pretty good. So, yeah, just really excited to be back there. You know. Um, the studio, you know, Sucker Punch just absolutely killed it with the next gen upgrade, and so far the uh, the story seems pretty good. You know, you you were dealing with a um, like sort of like a brute before, like the the guy who was the uh, the Mongols are invading your island, and the guy that was in charge of the Mongols before was just kind of like you know a, a big you know a big guy loud mouth, you know, vicious type dude, right? And mm -hmm. this time around your your enemy is more like a sorcerer, you know, magic, you know, fucking with your head type shit. You know, like, like scarecrow from like Batman, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. like you're having these like, you know, illusions. Oh wow. So nice. So happy to be back in that for sure. Um Yeah. Sounds what great. Else? We did some this week. Uh, Bricko and I did some stuff with The Ascent and wrapped up that story. Um, so that was enjoyable. And there was some, it got hard there at the end. It became really like a wave-based, horde-based game at the end. And I needed, I needed to bring in the experts. So we got New Jersey's finest, Bricko, in, and he helped me out there. And uh, so today I was just cleaning up some side missions. I think I got like three or four left to do. And then, uh -huh. and then I'm either done with the game or I got to go like explore and find some more side missions to do but the but the main game is over with and what a beautiful game just the aesthetics just the just the look of that game the more you you know now that i've beaten the main game and i feel like i'm sort of like like op in certain areas i can just sort of take my time and look at the world and all the effort they put into that just a phenom phenomenal looking game uh just the amount of it's so dense the amount of detail in that game mm -hmm. It is a great looking game. I'm, I'm I struggle with the game. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want to. I want to like it. I want to play it, but I just gotta get. I struggle twin, and I get. You gotta get those twin stick shooter chops. Yeah, I get frustrated too easily, and this wasn't the week to try and play that again. So I, 
I'll have to try it again sometime. <clears throat> oh, shit, that went down the wrong pipe. Um, so as stuff I uh, didn't like today, I was playing some of that game that um, your guy was playing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Icarus? Baldo? Oh, Baldo. Oh, my God. That, he, that game's jank. Did he like <laughs> he that or like no? It. No, no, he, no he, yeah. he played <laughs> he, he played a couple hours of it, and he's like, yeah, I'm, no, this game is janky, and there's some issues with it. He liked the art style. He liked the way it looked. Right. But he's like, yeah, there's, there's issues with this game. Yeah. Well, I didn't buy it. It's, you know, if you... If you have the uh, Apple Arcade, if you pay the four ninety nine a month, it's it's part of that Apple. You know, it's the Game Pass of iOS Apple Arcade. Right. <clears throat> and so I was playing it on my, um, you know, I got app, Apple TV here. Um, mm-hmm. So I was playing it, and yeah, it was like you know, right out of the gate, it was like some bullshit like mission, like go get these chickens and bring them back to the woman, put them in the chicken pen, right? <coughs> and it's like okay. You, you know, press Y to pick up the chicken and you go around to like the barn door, but you press A to press to get into the barn and it doesn't open the door. It just automatically tele pushes you inside the barn. Like all of a sudden you're just in the barn, but you don't come with the chicken and you go back outside and the chicken's all the way back where it was. It's like, how do I get this chicken? Into they didn't the- get credit. <laughs> There's got to be something I'm missing. I'm going around the picket fence and I'm pressing Y to think I could just fucking yeah. throw this thing over the fence. <laughs> and the game is so new that there's like no real like in depth like like videos that I could find. So I didn't yeah. know how I didn't know how to freaking get this chicken back in its coop. Well, he he was having an issue. There was a part we had to go walk around and find I don't know, like turnips or something for this lady in a field. And then you had to like plant them in this low level water pond field thing. Yeah. And so he'd go around, he'd find a turnip, okay, pick it up, and it walked so slow while you was carrying it. Yes. You know, like took same forever. Thing, like took same forever. Thing with the chicken. Yeah. So he goes to one of these holes mm. and he's trying to figure out how to, you know, how to fuck. How do I bury this? How do I bury this thing? And he, I don't know how many times he did it. He actually pressed the wrong button, and he took a sword, and he smashed it. So he had to go get another one. Oh, he was pissed. Oh, he was so pissed. He's like, God damn it. What the fuck is going on with this thing? You know, I'm, I'm doing what she's telling me to do. It won't let me plant it in the grass. It won't let me plant it in the ground. You know, it won't. It, oh, God, he was pissed. And it, it, I think my pissed one, it just took so long to carry this shit around. He had to get, like, five of them or something like that. Yeah. You know? So I only lasted about an hour, an hour and a half with that. I think it might be on Switch, but I know he was playing it on Steam. I was yeah. playing it. On, I was playing it on iOS. It's, I think it's on everything. Oh, is it? Is it on consoles too? I think so. Okay. I think that's what he said. I'm not 100 percent sure. <laughs> he played a lot of things this past week. So, <clears throat> um, but and then I I, pl- I try to play some um, Psychonauts two today. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody's been building that game up like, like it's the greatest thing ever. Like I was expecting to be like, like wowed from a visual perspective, and just like, not being a typical double fine janky ass game with like convoluted controls. You know, I haven't played long. I played about thirty minutes, but you know, most games within thirty minutes, you should know if it's you know a competent game. You know, I have to go right. back and I have to go back and play more. But the art style bugs me. I don't like it. I don't like the look of it. It doesn't look enhanced for Xbox Series X to me. It looks just so so. It looks like a typical Double Fine game to me, where it's just like a B level, you know, type effort. But you know, I'll go back and, and dabble some more. But just the intro that I played just wasn't doing it for me. You know. And hey, yeah. you know, that's the power of Game Pass yeah. right there. At least I didn't pay 60 bucks for it. Yeah, I could. But, yeah. you know, everybody's, everybody's saying, like, you know, if you go back to Paris again, he's saying it's in his, like, you know, top four or five for Game of the Year. I think he's got, like, Death's Door and Ratchet and & Clank and Psychonauts 2 in his top three for Game of the Year. 
So I had like, you know, high expectations because Paris is pretty like, you know, down the middle. He's just a gamer. A good game is a good game regardless of the system, even though he's becoming a talking head for Xbox. But um, yeah, at least in the first 30 minutes, I was not like game of the year. Far from it. But we'll have to see. Um, I wanted to play some of the um, Call of Duty Vanguard, the... uh, it's not king of the hill champion of the hill whatever their mode is called but i ran out of time by the time i got done playing everything else i think it was already they already shut the servers down so i I missed out on that did um your son play it at all on the ps5 because i know the beta was this weekend i don't think he did he's not really interested in that game this year he's Mm -hmm. he's well you know he's not for me, I, you know, guys like us, we're, I'm more interested in the Vanguard because it's the same game. You know, we had a great time with yeah. uh, the World War II game, and it's the yeah. same. Mm-hmm. And it's the same studio. I prefer yeah. the the World War II. I prefer like World War II to modern. It's like when they get the futuristic shit, I, I like advanced warfare and stuff like that, infinite warfare mm-hmm. or whatever it was. Um, <clears throat> That's when I'm sort of overwhelmed by the situation. But yeah, I really enjoyed Sledgehammer's last game that they put out. I think it was just called World War II, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Or maybe that was World War II was the one from way, way back. Whatever it was called a couple years ago. I really enjoyed that. So I'm looking forward to this Call of Duty. Really? Okay. So I missed out on I missed out on that. And I wanted to um see the horizon zero west because we're gonna have a new story here that they did an update and i wanted to just not enough time in the day you know i'm here along with the two kids and the dogs uh, yeah my, my wife's down the cape with the youngest uh getting the house ready to sell so i haven't had my full attention and plus i did some work today too because you know work is just getting absolutely crazy um mm-hmm. so I think that's all I played today. Four games, pretty decent. Most of my time in uh, Tsushima with Jin, the nice. Sak- Sakai clan. <laughs> nice. And my Patriots just won. Uh, finished the pre. You know, even though I did say they're going to go six and eleven, they finished the preseason undefeated, three and zero. So is regular season doesn't start next week, does it? No, they got like um, ten or twelve days off. The regular season starts a week from this coming Thursday. Yeah. September Bengals 9th. lost. Bengals lost 29-26. Riverdale pre- game. Preseason <laughs> doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah. I think it's going to be an interesting season uh, for some of these winter teams. You know, all sports, basketball, hockey, and football. Because, um, you know, I know this is an escape from the real world, but what is going on in the real world is not dwindling or going away anytime soon. So Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be an interesting season for these sports teams in the fall, winter months. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how everything plays out. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. uh, Let's get to the news because we got a lot to discuss. There is a lot of news. Really? Really? Okay, do you hear what he just said? Do you hear what he, he just said, why don't you for once in your life just do the fucking news? All right, no, 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 no. I'm going to do, no, I'm going to do the fucking news. No, here is the fucking news. All righty. <clears throat> Matt, you were not here last week, so I want you to weigh in on this. Halo Infinite is going to release on the 8th of December, the latest mm-hmm releasing halo game in its history 20 year history um usually they're out sometimes september through november but um yeah this is the first time i think uh it's been this late it was the last halo game six years ago is that right yeah seems longer than that i'm not sure when halo 5 came out uh let's take a quick look here i think it's been some time has it been six years the 360 game, right? No. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Xbox One game? It was an Xbox One game, definitely, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it came out uh, two days after my birthday, October 27th, 2015. So, yeah. There you it's going to be over six years since a um, 
a new Halo game, and here it is, December 8th. And again, uh, last week what we announced is that it's going to be releasing with just a single-player campaign and the multiplayer, which is free-to-play. So if you're in Game Pass... Uh, subscriber, you're going to get all that for free. If you're not a Game Pass subscriber, you'll get the multiplayer free and you'll have to pay for the campaign. And again, the campaign is just going to be single player at launch. Three months later is when you'll be able to play co-op with your friends. So <clears throat> you heard Eric and I discuss that last week. Where do you stand? Is this something that you think should have been delayed until everything was ready? Or are you buying the, hey, this is a, a live service game and we're going to have seasons. And so part of the season structure here is you're going to be getting other pieces of the game later on. I'm going to hold off and wait, I think, and see what happens. You know, when I say hold off and wait, like a week or two, kind of just see what, you know, the people are saying about it when it first <clears> comes out there. Um, but you think I they should think, have delayed it, or you think it's okay to have, like, things be released piecemeal? I think in the days of Cyberpunk and Biomutant, I think the more you can hold on to a game and make it right, the better. You know, because... Ain't nothing going to be worse if this game game comes out and this it fails or is not good or you know janky or just graphics suck. You're going to get eaten alive. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get eaten alive, man. It's, it's that's what's going to happen. You know that's what that's what I think. I think it's you, you got to. This is you know a fact ship game. You know it's it's Halo. They got to come out swinging with it. They got to make sure it's fucking 100. percent Hundred and twenty percent. They gotta make sure it is. So, I don't and, know. And where is your excitement level with this? I'd say at five, maybe. I take it or leave it. Be honest with you. You know, yeah. it, it, the hype has not been hitting me with this game, like other games in the past and stuff like that. So, take a look at this uh, little trailer here while we discuss it. Um, <clears throat> where where have you? Have you played a lot of the previous Halo games? I played one, two, and three. That was pretty much it. And was the um, I'm trying to remember was co-op? You could play those games in co-op. Um, uh huh. How much did you play single player versus co-op? Mostly a uh, single player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was mostly. It was. I didn't play um, a lot of co-op in Halo until I got my Xbox 360 and. That was the big thing, you know, the MP, you know, in that game, playing Capture the Flag, Team Deathmatch, all that, you know, Red ver red versus Blue came out, you know, mm -hmm. back then, all that Rooster stuff. Rooster Teeth. Yeah, that's when I started yeah. getting into the multiplayer was that with the Gamer Husband guys back in the day and the Everyday Gamers guys and everything like that back in the day. So, yeah, I was, but I... It, this isn't a game where it comes out like, oh, I got to buy it, I got to buy it. It's just kind of, okay, cool, it's here. All right, maybe I'll get it. I get some extra cash. I'll go ahead and pick it up today. Mm. You know, so. Well, of course, you don't have to worry about that now because you are a oh, right. loyal Game, game Pass. Pass subscriber. I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, like the most recent uh, Halo games, you know, just I've always yep. played them in, in uh, co-op for the most part. So it is incredibly disappointing to not uh, see a release with that. I mean, I can partially understand the the rationale, mm -hmm. but um, it is just disappointing, you know. Like, how many? I'm interested. They'll be able to run the stats, don't they? They can have the access to the back end and tell. Okay, this many people played the single player campaign, oh, yeah. and then what percentage of people came back three months later and played the the played the uh, the co op version? Now, maybe they'll mm -hmm. do something. Maybe they'll enhance it, like give you more to do or something who knows rather than just say okay now now co-op is available go nuts they might just say all right co-op's available and oh by the way we threw in these extra missions or whatever you know what i mean yeah right some other some other stuff to do but yeah, yeah uh <clears throat> december 8th i heard you might be free that day so you can i think so jump in and uh and try that out yeah, I, you know, I mean, you're right. I mean, what, what would I wait around for? It's on 
Game Pass, so might as well go ahead and download it and play it. Because I've got plenty of room now, apparently, on my Xbox. Apparently, in my delusions and hallucinations this past week, I ordered that fucking memory card from Amazon. Yeah, did you try it out yet? Yes. Plugged it in. Plug and play. Plugged it right in. It's... Makes a nice like little th- makes, makes terabyte a nice, of space now. <laughs> makes a nice what little nice little funk sound when you plug it in too. Yeah. At first, I was like, man, you know, I'm going through it's like it's not registering, it's not registering. What the, what the fuck's wrong, man? You know, I'm trying to you know, restore my Xbox and that, and I look back and then I hit it again and it's like, oh, fucker wasn't in all the right. That's why I will get that. Sudden, <laughs> I will get that. I will tell you though when I take it out and put put it in the other one. Well, oftentimes it says it can't recognize it and take it out and put it back in. It's not sometimes mm-hmm. it's not the most elegant. I mean, you won't have that problem because you just got to leave it in, right? But, yeah, I'm just going to leave it out. Yeah. But um, when I take it out and put it in the other one, I know it's in there snug because I hear that nice thunk. And it tells, now, me, no, it tells me, nope, doesn't recognize. Is it supposed to automatically know, like when I download a game, to just put it where there's space or am I going to have to tell it? I think you can set up some settings. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. But I think um, previously I used to be able to tell, like, automatic download to my internal. Or I think you can go ahead and make that change. Because it's supposed to be seamless, right? Just with that, it's supposed to be just a seamless drive and not right. care and no and all the other bullshit. Yep. <clears throat> well, you I know, I know you're just a guy there with. Um, one console and you and you you know you're struggling by, but you get all these Simple other man. you get all these other TVs in your house that feel naked and alone, and they want a uh, they want another console. God damn it, Matt! They, they want, want attention. They want attention. Yeah. So here we go. Um, Xbox has released, or they haven't released. They announced the 549 version Halo themed Xbox Series X console. It is the first custom Halo branded Xbox Series X. It will arrive on November 15th, almost a month before the game comes out. It includes dark metallic paneling, gold accents, and a star pattern to match the Halo universe. It even powers on and off with custom Halo themed sounds. And Microsoft has changed the top fan section of the Series X from a green to a blue. Uh, the console will also include a custom Halo-branded controller that matches the console. Uh, and Microsoft is saying these are very limited edition. I uh, think they already sold out. Yes, this is the first custom Xbox Series X. People are wondering, you know, what they would do now. They got this, you know, sort of uh, square box or rectangular box. And so here's the first one off the presses. What are your what are your initial pre- impressions of the look? I mean, it's, it's cool. I guess I don't know. I mean, if you're into that type of thing, then sweet, cool, you know. But you didn't feel a tug or a pull or anything like that to get it. No, nah, I'm I'm perfectly happy with my plain black box. And what? Here. And the the extra fifty but bucks no. is because of the the design. I'm supposing, the, the, yeah. You're, you're the controller. A, you're paying a limited edition tax. I mean, I, I, I can see me buying this and putting this in front of the, you know, like if we had a big, you know, bar, like, the fuck? What, what, what's this? <laughs> why, is it, why is it got all sorts of, like, stars on it? Yeah, it looks like someone splattered paint on it. What's wrong? What's wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> Get your money back. <laughs> no, that's cool for people that want to buy it. Good, you know, good for you. Okay. Do you feel at all them? that is predatory, <laughs> them releasing... A new console or a limited edition console when the the existing console hasn't even been out a year. Or your all bets are off. This is consumerism. They got they're celebrating twenty twenty years of of Halo. Um, so it's all fair play. It's all yeah, I mean, it's all fair play. We I mean we all knew when we when I mean in the past gen, you know, we all knew when we bought these things, special versions are gonna be coming out. Here and there, special you know, versions. The cyber- huh. Special versions. Huh. Those two. <laughs> those. Those two. <laughs> um, um, you know the cyberpunk model. Got you all distracted now. Yeah, it got me all fucked up. Um, you know the, the the cyberpunk version of it. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm sure there'll be a version that comes out that's 
going to be 2K themed with some game or some short. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's how it that's goes. what. Yeah, it is. I mean, that's it's the nature of the beast anymore. I just say the the only thing that strikes me as I don't know if odd is the right word. Concerning people have a hard time buying the fucking base model. You know, those are hard to come by. Those just aren't like I just can't pop into Target tomorrow and wake up and go, yeah, you know what? I want to spend five hundred bucks today and get a Series X. No, you can't do that. They're still hard to find. So now, right. now they're making something that's even harder to find. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's just a little a bugged me. I can see doing a controller. You know, I mean, because Xbox are known for fucking special controllers. They got controllers out the ass. Yeah. You know, how, they got a controller how, for every other week. <laughs> how soon do you think before they make this controller available on its own? You think they do that? I thought, I thought they did. I thought no. there is a controller that's available on its own. Not oh, this, is this just, not, is this not this this package? Not this, oh, des- okay. not this design. Is there another one? We're going to get to it in a minute, sir. All good oh, things. Oh. <laughs> I can't, Mike. I have no patience, Mike. I can't wait. <laughs> Time is limited. <laughs> yes, that's, that's what Barb often says. It just, it just doesn't take us time. Yeah. Bam. Done. Exactly. Um, yeah, so this I I'd like to look at this controller. Like I'd buy this controller if it was just available. Yeah, I'd buy the controller. I I buy the controller over the Xbox. No. Yeah. So here is the other one. We'll show the picture here. This is the uh elite controller. This is gonna set you back uh two hundred dollars. One hundred and ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. So this is the um Elite Two controller. You which you'll notice for people that have the Elite Two um, I think the Elite 2 came out for the Xbox One. This is the Xbox um, Series X Elite 2 controller. And by, I'd have to go look at mine, but I'm pretty sure that the previous Elite 2 controller did not have the um, the photo button in the middle. You know, But yeah. otherwise, it should be pretty much the similar to previous Elite 2 controllers. Although it's got these really thick rubber... They look thick, but they're probably not that thick. But they got these um, padded sides to them. I'm not crazy about you, the look of this one. I think it's pretty cool. Kind of like it. I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of that big gold D pad. Well, that's supposed to be like his visor, right? Yeah, Master, Master right. Chief's visor. Yeah. 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 So, um, do, so do this, you have an Elite controller? Do you have I, one? I do. Yes. They're heavier too. It, I, I have. I thought they were. Um, I enjoyed them for what they were for a while, but I just found over time that the Xbox, the One X, um, the One X control, not the original Xbox One, because the original Xbox One controller I thought was very chintzy. Although I still use it on PC all the time, I still have it here in front of me. Day one, uh, 2013, it says on it. Uh, but the uh, no, I'm very happy with the weight and feel of the One X. Um, not the one I the Series X controller. God damn it, Microsoft and your stupid naming. Uh, Series X. I think that the weight of the Series X controller to me feels nice. The Elite controller is a little bit heavier, but it's still mm-hmm. a very it's still a very nice controller. Um, I haven't really, I don't know. The paddles on the back they get in the way more often. You know, I'm not. It's hard, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. And yeah. the paddles in the back, I can take them or leave them. I often find I keep just like the top row and get rid of the bottom row. Um, I know Maniac I, I, used to s- s- file his down so they were just like little small paddles. Um, I know Goth loves his. He loves the paddles in the back to like – do they come like pre-mapped for a game or do you have to map those buttons on the back for stuff? I think you can map them per game. Um, but they come like pre, you know, like some presets on the back. You know, sure it depends on the game. Yeah, you go into the. There's an app for it. You know, just like there's an app already for the controller, so there'd huh. be more more options for you in the app. And what might happen on the controller someday? I'd, I'd like to try it with them. Like you said, it seems like a beefier controller. Yeah, it is definitely heavier. Yeah. You know, um, and I would yeah. like to try those pedals and back to you know for different functions. Yeah, and it also comes with a different D pad. So if you look at the picture, if you don't like mm-hmm. that, um, you know, if you don't like that big sort of, I guess, like plate. I'm not sure if that's the right word for it, but it also comes with a traditional uh, X, cross. you know, cross D pad. Now, if you look at our, um, 
if you look at our Xbox Series X controllers now, it's sort of a hybrid of the two. Um, where yeah. it's, got the, it's got the cross, but the cross is sort of pushed in a little bit in the center. And it's not yeah. where this one, you know, has like the more of like a metal plate. So those are magnets. You can pull them off and you can put the other one on. But, uh, yeah, so this is the Halo branded um, Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. It'd be $199. Limit, the Halo Infinite Limited Edition Elite Series 2. Also available on the 15th of November, one ninety nine ninety nine, and also, uh, I believe, sold out. So you Holy might have, uh, might have uh, missed the boat on those. Thoughts? No, no interest to get either one, right? I like the controller. I'm not a fan of the console. I, I, I don't know. I, I just... I could see if I had a big, you know, game room or something set up, you know, like what you have down in your office there or something like that, yeah. you know? Well, I know. I could see that, Matt, but. Matt, don't lie to me. I know what you're doing. I don't really know what you're doing. You're saving your money for this item here. You know, you, you, you're blowing smoke yeah. out because you're really trying to, you're really saving up your, your pennies for this particular I know item. What, I know where you're getting ready to show. Yeah. Look at that. Just look at that. Just you know, I understand if you want to just take a few a few seconds of silence uh, to look at that. And, you know, dust it yourself. looks like someone ate a bowl of fruity pebbles and barfed on a controller. <laughs> People, this is going to be their best selling controller. You fucking guarantee. You, you mark it down here. Mike said this is going to be their highest selling controller of all time. People are losing their mind over it. They people first of all, people love when they can see through the plastic, right? And see all the guts yes. inside. And then it's well, got all know. these it's got all these multicolors. Where, where, where's Eric when you need him? You know, because <laughs> I mean, Xbox, they can put the controllers out, but they ain't got no fucking games. But they can put they can they can throw you some look at that bad thing you see that. Back of it there. It looks like a goddamn that. something from Fisher Price. <laughs> right. <laughs> With that red, blue, white, and yellow and the black on the back. The fuck, man. Come on. I heard you, I heard you like black on the back. What are you talking about? That's another story. Well, I get them all confused. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, no. What's interesting? What's happening with these controllers now? And again, is this? You tell me, Matt. Is this predatory, or is this all fair play? So Microsoft has announced a limited edition Xbox controller based on Forza Horizon Five. Uh, they saying it sports a seriously bold and colorful look, inspired by the popular racing game. It also, however, includes DLC for Forza Horizon Five. It's going to sell for seventy four ninety nine. It comes out November 9th, the same day as the game. Okay. Uh, everyone who buys this controller gets an exclusive DLC pack for Forza Horizon 5, including a Forza Edition car, cosmetic item, and victory emote. Um, and they say the face of the controller is translucent yellow, giving you a view of the de device's insides, including its rumble motor and special lighting effect. Splashes of light blue and pinkish red also adorn the front of the controller, too. The buttons and analog sticks are similarly colored to its bold design. Um, so what do you think about exclusive DLC uh, coming to a controller as part of a controller? That's kind of fucked up. Right? It's kind of, I, mean, I mean, really, you're paying 75 bucks for DLC, right? I mean... <laughs> yeah, but just, you know, other people... I mean, I don't know what the DLC, like how how important it's going to be, but the completionists out there maybe don't want to buy the controller because maybe like you, they look, think it looks like someone barfed up their kid's cereal. Um, nice. But they want all the DLC because they're just a, you know, force it's a like diva. like the money came all over it. <laughs> uh, I, don't know, I just think that's a little interesting that now we're going to get creative you know they increased the price traditionally controllers are 69.99 now it's 75 and it comes with dlc i i, I, I think that's pretty shitty <laughs> now will we be able to buy that dlc ourselves you know so, in game yeah. or we don't probably don't know yet do we well i mean the description here says it comes with uh everyone who buys this controller gets an exclusive dlc pack so, you know, whether they let it, 
you know, months and years down the line they release it. But it sounds like, I mean, exclusive to me, sounds like you buy the controller and you get exclusive DLC for buying it. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> That's pretty shitty. Yes, yeah, me. Yeah. Tied to a controller like that. I mean, I, I mean, back in the day, it's not as often as what it used to be, but like, you know, you pre ordered from GameStop or you pre ordered from Best Buy. You get, you know, like Red Dead, we get like a special horse, you know, or you get a special gun or something like that, you know, if you pre ordered yeah. from those places. You know, a lot of that seems to be kind of going away, it seems like. At least I think it is. I'm not sure if it is or not, but but something like this, Italian DLC to a controller. That's, I mean, that's that's pretty wild. It, it, that does seem kind of predatory, I think. But hey, people are going to buy it, so oh, people are going to buy it. People yeah. are absolutely their people are absolutely yeah. losing their mind over that controller. Yeah. yeah. People are also, Matt, are losing their mind over the um, Saints Row. New game was announced, but people are not losing their minds in a in a good way. So let's uh, let's put the let's put the uh, old trailer up here on the screen. We need a, we need a new Saints Row game. I'm let this play in the background while we jibber jabber about it. Um. You know, it doesn't have the same look and feel as previous games, but it's been also been a long time since it's a, been a while. Uh, since a proper Saints Row game. Um, but it's what, still. You what know, was the last one? Was, it, was the last one that crazy game with like the devil and shit? Like you got out of Saints hell. Row Five or something, or was it Saints Row Four? Was the last one? I think Saints Row Four, but then they had the Got Out of Hell, right? Yeah, that stuff. Yeah, uh, superpowers and all that. Saints Row Three, I thought was much better. Um, I think so too. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know what I haven't read all the stories of why people are uh down on this, what they're seeing. I mean, to me it seems like, you know, it's just a fucking story here. You're not seeing really too much gameplay. But if I had to speculate, Matt, at a certain point in this story here, I mean you already see it here. I don't believe those uh any of the main characters yet are white. Mm-hmm. Right? Can I can I be as so bold as to say that? I mean the antagonist mm-hmm. here are white um but i think one of the main i think the leader in this game too of the saints is a black woman too um so i don't you know i don't know if that's coming into play or not but this game has the trailer has been a shitload of down votes on youtube really i think it looks cool it looks good yeah it's like got the next gen look to it but it's uh oh yeah but it's still i mean it's Looks like Saints Row to me. Yeah. I'd probably check it out. For sure. Now, some details about the game. Uh, there's going to be a character creator. Uh, the new setting is in Santo Aloso. Uh, gang territories are back. You can buy buildings that you can use for criminal endeavors that impact the world. And it will have co-op support. The entire storyline playable with friends. Nice. And it's cross-gen as well. So if you don't have an Xbox Series X or you don't have a PS5, you're still able to play it on the PS4 and Xbox One X or Xbox One. Uh, looks good. Yeah, to me, I think it looks very good. I think it comes uh-huh. out, um, I want to say the 25th of February. Looks like a fun game to me. Yeah, I'm not sure what all the hate is. You know, there's certainly going to be people out there that are more engrossed in the Saints uh, Row world than I am. You know, I tend to yeah. play these play these games, uh, complete as much as I can, and then move on to another title. I'm not one of those guys that just self-identifies with one franchise. So I'm not sure, like, you know, what the main things they're uh, upset about. Maybe that it has a more serious tone and not, like, over the top. Like you know, where yeah, the dil- where are the, like where are the dildo bats and everything like that? I don't know <laughs> if that's if that's what they're upset about or not. Um, but to me, when yeah, I'm watching this, when I'm watching this, it looks like Saints Row to me. And that's the woman here uh, who just shot yeah. that gun. She's, I think, the leader. Um, and again, I'm speculating, but I would it would not surprise me 
if uh, people are upset because there's um, some of the main characters are minorities. Fuck. It's a, it's a goddamn game, man. I mean, that's, yeah. people are fucking. So out on the 25th of February, February is going to be uh, quite a quite a month in the video game world. <laughs> Lots of stuff going down. So, yeah, I'm excited okay. for Saints Row. And if you are an Epic yeah. Games, if you got a PC and you have Epic Games, they're giving you Saints Row 3 Remastered free right now for this Oh, week. nice. So if you, wow. it's, been a, it's been a while since you've dabbled in Saints Row, while. you can go pick that up. It'd be a fun game if the multiplayer in that works out well to where, you know, we yeah, co-op, can yeah. compete. Like yeah, far, co-op. You know, Far Cry can... type shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Right, where right. we both get credit for missions and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, that'd, be, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Moving on. Horizon Forbidden West. Everybody, you know, it's funny. You look at some of these news outlets and some people who may be like pro one console versus another are saying it's been delayed. Where F- Horizon Forbidden West has already been delayed. They just gave you, never gave you a date. They just said it was going to be winter. Uh, so yeah. it, is, it has been delayed till February 18th, 2022. So it's coming out the week before uh, Saints Row. Okay. Uh, okay. And they made that announcement at Gamescom. Of course, that was the where a lot of these news stories are coming from. So that'll be exciting. Just you know, those uh, cozy months, Matt, where you got a nice fire going. Mm-hmm. Although you don't have a PS5, so what am I telling? But <laughs> you, know, you can't no, play it on does. the you can't play it on the PS4 though. So yeah, would not be the same. It wouldn't but look her, as good. Yeah. So it is out on the 18th. And what they did uh, when they made that announcement, they also gave uh, people who own Horizon Zero Dawn, free to everybody. Um, They gave you an update last week. So now the game runs at 60 frames per second on the PS5. So it's the latest game to get a boost to 60 frames per second. And no cost, just boom. Part of update 1.53, available and free to all who own the game. So I might have to go back and finish that DLC now, uh, 60 frames per second. Mm-hmm. Check that out. Um, you f- Did you play the first game? Did you finish it? I didn't finish it. No, but I played it. I got to, I won't say halfway. I got through. Mm. And stopped playing. The it just got, game, it kind of got repetitive. The new game looks unbelievable with all that water. It does. Looks, yeah. It looks great. Pre-order start on on uh, September 2nd this week, Thursday. Yeah. 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 Looking, f- looking forward to, looking forward to playing. Uh, I hope they've, you know, my one gripe with the first game was the voice acting. I thought it was terrible and for some of the NPCs. So hopefully mm-hmm. they've, they've cleaned that up. I don't know. It was a little stiff my, at times. Well, you know, I don't want to be like, you know, stereotypical, but like, you got someone, let's just say you got like a black character and he sounds like the whitest white guy. And then conversely, you got like the whitest white character and he sounds like a black person. It just to me, it just felt like very striking. Like it was just weird off. It was like kind of off-putting to me the, uh-huh. the way it was. It didn't, didn't have a nice flow to it. Where I thought, you know, conversely, some of the other characters in the game – they did a really nice job. Like, you know, Aloy and Aloy, the guy that raised Aloy, you know, I thought those voice acting was done really well, but then it just seems like they just got people to read lines without like looking at the character model. And they said, fuck here, we created this character. We already got the lines, So screw it. We're just going to mash the two together. And they just didn't feel like the voice matched up with the appearance. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel that. Moving on, last news item here for you, Matt. This is one we're going to need you on. Uh, let me pull up the uh, trailer first so we can talk about this this news for the, item. For the witch Queen. Yes. We got the uh, get the link for the trailer so we can watch it. I haven't watched this one yet, so I'm looking forward to uh, to do, doing it live, checking it out live. Have you watched it already? Yeah. 
that a yes or a no? No, I have. Yes, I have. I've watched it. Let me get <clears throat> queued up here. Oh. This is going to be like the longest season of Destiny ever. <laughs> this yes. one right here. Because the DLC comes out, what, in February, like everything else. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm saying. February is going to be a big month for sure. Um, yeah, this this is the... I think the um, there's a there's a release on two twenty two twenty two. Is that what I have in yep. my notes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, what's this? What's that? Uh, we're in August. So September, October, November. Like five months, right? Yeah. How long are their seasons usually? Three months. Yeah, three months, three and a half. Right now. Yeah. <clears throat> I always like jumping into their stories. Um, you know, it's when it gets grindy, like you were talking about uh, mm-hmm. at the beginning. It's like, mm-hmm. that's when I sort of peter out. After, I, okay, I've done this five times. I'm not doing it five more times. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, with, with the DLC coming out, there'll be a lot of story happening, going on. Yeah, and with every season, there's a little bit of story that happens so some highlights uh this season is called season of the lost it's live live now Mm -hmm. uh longer than the average destiny 2 season it doesn't end until the witch queen launches on february 22nd 22 um it is a prelude to the witch queen and will set the stage for the upcoming expansion uh this season includes uh hold on one second Get out of that screen. Close that down. All right. Uh, So, yeah, it's a prelude to the Witch Queen. We'll set the stage for the upcoming expansion. Uh, New weapons, a new six-player activity, a new weekly mission, and a portal to the Shattered Realm. So have you come across any of that stuff, any of the new weapons, well, I mean, yeah, there's new weapons, you know, every season that and there are some new weapons out now. I've gotten a couple of them. I've gotten some okay rolls on them. Um, so I'll be grinding away to get some, you know, the meta ga- uh, gun weapon this season. Try to. Um, I'm still using guns I like from a couple of seasons ago that are still, you know, doing very, very well. So, um, yeah, it's the, the problem with Destiny is, you know, you. You, you take your armor and your weapons that you had and you get them built up and leveled up. You invest a lot of time in doing that. And then when another season, they throw all this new shit out at you. And so you got to kind of do that again. You know, level your shit up and find you know maybe new stuff. It depends on what it is or what you're looking for and stuff like that. But that's the biggest issue a lot of people have, I think. And do you have any insight into the uh, new six-player activity? What that entails? I'm assuming it's going to be another raid. Okay. You know, it could be a it could be some type of public activity. You know, where it's not a raid. They you know they've been experimenting with that for the past couple of seasons. You know, these override missions and these um, astral alignment missions and stuff like that, where they got six people in in these things doing stuff. So, you know, it could be something like that that's going to be more permanent, maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some more PVP stuff. That'd be interesting. Mm-hmm. And what does a portal to the shattered realm mean? In got no terms? fucking idea. Okay. Got no fucking idea. It's a portal that mm-hmm. probably, when you like go through it, it like yeah. takes you somewhere. Okay, that's, um, <laughs> that's a good. That's a good educated guess, man. Thank you for thank you for pointing that out. Uh, moving on, uh, December seventh is the thirtieth anniversary of Bungie being a studio. So they're going to have a celebration. It's free to all players. Um, it will offer a new six player match made activity, iconic weapons to collect mysteries to unravel and rewards that, uh, commemorate their long and storied history. However, Matt players can also order the Bungie 30th anniversary pack. And let's uh, put this up on the screen. Let's see what this is. And take a look and see if you're ready to spend $100 on this or not. 
you let me know. Because we know you love your destiny. I do like destiny. All I right. do. So the it looks like you got two flavors, the deluxe edition or the thirtieth anniversary pack. Um <laughs> So here's kind of like the breakdown. The 30th anniversary pack has a lot less uh, stuff than the deluxe edition. So you can see that on your screen. Um, does any of that stuff on the under deluxe like entice you to drop a hundred bucks on it? The weapon crafting, yeah, I yeah, that's something they announced. Yeah, the weapon crafting. Um, I would be curious what the hell that is. New exotic gear. Um, so, yeah, that would be. I'd like to know what that's all about. And you're going to get access to seasons 16, 17, 18, and 19 with it. So, four seasons. Right. Yeah. Uh, two dungeons released in year five. And then you're going to get the 30th anniversary pack included in it. So, it's giving you. Uh, a bundle, which is giving you the Witch Queen stuff. So, the new campaign, weapon crafting. New raid, exotic gear, new archetype. Hundred so bucks, that's pricey. Yeah, so if you pre order, let's just say Xbox to simulate your experience. Don't tell me to sign up. Yeah. Ninety nine ninety nine. Damn. Well, yeah, when I mean, you get your next three seasons also with that. You know, so there's about what ten bucks a season, right? Ten fifteen well, bucks a season. So, is this season sixteen right now? No, we're in season fifteen. So you get the next four. You get sixteen, seventeen, 16 18, through 19. nineteen. So you get you're four getting, seasons. Yeah, you get four seasons. Not the hotel. Just destiny. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think? You think you're going to drop a hundred bucks? Look at this nice little. Too bad I can't. Click I know if I will. I know yeah. if I will. You get those Biden bucks. Mm-hmm. Treat, treat yeah. yourself. Treat yourself to a um, Halo Two Elite con- Halo Elite Two controller and the Deluxe Plus and 30th this. Anniversary Bundle. There you go. There we go. Then you'll just be permanently sleeping in the tent at the property because Barb will be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah. What's what's, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> to, to, to to that you rebut. Well, I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't even play it yet. <laughs> oh, a lot man. of a lot of Destiny stuff. That's a way. That's a hell of a. You know, I know Bungie doesn't make the Halo games anymore. That's three four three. But these are all sort of you know tied back to Bungie. They have they have mastered the craft of separating a man from his cash. Hmm. You know, if you wanted, they have. If you were a guy, a a a bungee devotee, and you wanted the Halo console, that's five forty nine. Add another two hundred dollars on that, seven forty nine, right, to get you the Elite controller, and then add another hundred bucks on here. That's eight forty nine plus tax, rounded up to a little over nine hundred dollars, right? Just under a grand, you can get. You'll be set for Halo and Destiny. That's just wow. It's a lot of money. That's a lot of cash, man. That's a whole lot of cash. That's two. That's two bottom bucks payments. That would cover. Mm-hmm. I'd, have, I'd have to get two of them. I just transfer my Biden bucks to Xbox. Is there a way I can set that up somehow? <laughs> it's called debit card. <laughs> I don't know why they send me the Biden bucks in the mail as opposed to right into my bank. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, mine's direct deposit. Like everything else has been. Mm. That's wild. Huh. So. That's all the news items, Matt. I know Gamescom was this weekend. Did you get a chance to watch either the Gamescom show or the Xbox show? Did you watch Unfortunately, either? I did not. I mean, well, I mean, I saw bits and pieces. I, mean, I saw Paris. Yeah. You know, I thought yeah. the um, Jeff Keighley did a really nice job with the uh, opening night live, like he always <laughs> does. You know, mm-hmm. the, the guys over are kind of funny. says, you know, Jeff Keighley's playing – chess while everybody else is playing checkers when it comes to presentations and, and shows and things like that he's got those he big, knows how he, he's got those big tvs and you know he can change them for this for the backdrop and everything like that it really looks really looks slick you know uh, he knows how to put on a show 
And I think, he, and like I said, I think he does a lot of that with his own cash. You know, obviously yeah. he's obviously he's making money, advertising money, and shit like that. But sure. He said he just started the other day. The very next day when opening night live ended, he started um, planning full-time for the Game Awards in December. So There we go. <clears throat> but let's see here. I think that's a, a wrap. I was a little disappointed with the uh, Xbox showcase. I thought they just took uh, way too much time, way too many deep dives on games I didn't care about, like Wasteland 3, Age of Empires, Flight Simulator. I mean, they were showing like trebuchets, man. They were like showing yeah. like, you know, deep dive into fucking trebuchets. What the fuck's going on? But anyways. <laughs> let's wrap her up, Matt. The uh, work week is upon us. It's going to be a, a, uh, a dense week of work. So I need to get, need to get my rest. Yeah, so, I'm, and, yeah, I'm, yeah. So without Eric here, we'll wrap up a little early because we don't have that third man in the booth to give us his uh, his perspective on things. Yeah. So and give us your uh, shout outs, complaints, plugs, questions, anything on the table. You know, shout Eric, you know, and you. You guys put on a great show last week. I listened to it. And that the first time, Eric and, first time Eric and I have ever recorded yeah. to just together. Yeah, it's history, man. History in the making. Um, but yeah, you guys did a great job. I wish Eric was here tonight. Um, shout out to everyone talking to me throughout the week and stuff like that. See how things shake out here. Uh, Chase and Kevin being in chat tonight. Thanks guys for joining us here tonight. Uh, really enjoyed it. I didn't have, um, I didn't have chat up. Do they have any, um, comments that we need to get across the air? Did I, do we, do we miss? Nah. Nah? Nah. Nothing. I answered everything. Oh, you answered? I answered everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whether or not it was the right answer, I don't know. But you know, I answered stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's it. You know, um, hope everyone down Louisiana and everything stay safe. Yeah, what's going on hurricane. with that? Can you can you give us your le- your latest, Matt? Um, it's a weather. big fucking hurricane <laughs> that landed, like Katrina size hurricane. And it's flooding and it's apparently it slowed down. I had to out know, power to all of New Orleans. Jeez. Jesus Christ. There you go. That's how it's going. Would that fucking suck? Well, there was something I forgot. I didn't pull up in the news. I wanted you to weigh in on a court case. Was there something going oh. on in gaming that there was a lawsuit? Oh, I can't remember. As soon as I hang up, I know I'm going to remember it. That it I don't know. I wanted the esteemed, honorable Matthew Helmer to, to weigh in on. There was oh, sort, I'm sorry. Some sort, I know the guy who's on the cover of the Nirvana record is suing Nirvana for child pornography now. Fucking stupid as that. Mm-hmm. That's fucking mm-hmm. stupid as hell. I, ah. thought, I thought there was some other lawsuit um, this week. I can't remember what it was. I'll have to, I'll have to find it. So we'll talk about it on, on a follow-up show. But there was some sort of lawsuit. I was like, Matt's got to weigh in on this one because this is like right up his alley. Yeah. No, I haven't heard anything. So I don't know. So we know you gotta go to the Jake Paul uh Tyrone Woodley fight. We know you got we know you gotta go I, with that. Unfortunately I have to go to bed. <laughs> All right. We'll let you go, man. Thanks to everybody who um who listens and downloads during the week. Appreciate all of you appreciate you guys hanging out in chat today as well. Like Matt said, Eric is missed. Hope everybody has a uh, happy and healthy uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, more than likely, there will be no show next weekend. Um, you know, but we will keep you posted oh, yeah. if, if anything changes uh, with Labor Day weekend. It's like the last hurrah of summer, and we're going to get us pretty <laughs> soon into Matt cutting some wood. And uh, putting it in the fire and keeping the house warm and toasty. That was probably the last thing in your mind last week with that 90 degree weather, steamy out, steamy and humid. I'd wake up in the morning and like my fucking windows were all like, you know, yeah. had, like the uh, like, condensation. Like a fog. Yeah, like a fog dew on them. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Foggy dew. Yeah. You ever listen to Foggy Dew by Sinead O'Connor? That's your homework. Oh, we, we, we neglected to say um, rest in peace, Charlie Watts. Yeah. Rest in peace. Ed Asner died today. Yeah, I saw that today. Yeah. Goddamn, man. Yeah, Charlie Watts, man. 
Fuck. 80 years old, man. Steady as they came. He was an eccentric guy. Very eccentric. Yeah. You can tell just by looking at him. Yeah. He he didn't know how to drive, but he had, uh, I guess, like four really like top-end, uh, pricey um, luxury cars. But he couldn't drive. He, he would just sit in them. When he thought them as more of like a piece of furniture or something to marvel at than actually drive them. He would also buy um, drum sets, famous drum sets off of like, you know, jazz musicians. And he wouldn't play them or anything. He actually said he would never even seen them. He would just buy them just to know that they were in like a nice safe place and being kept for like posterity, you know what I mean, for history. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Did he buy one of yours? Oh, yeah, of course. Big, I'm a big jazz drummer over here. Big jazz fusion guy, you know, <laughs> being close to Boston, you know, when you li- just you just walk by Berkeley College of Music and all of a sudden you just, you know, you come out a jazz fusion drummer. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Me and, me and Dave Weckl, we fucking, we just fucking do paradiddles in our sleep. It's awesome. <laughs> Anyways, this has been uh, 175, 175. We will see you all next week and uh, be good to each other. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thanks for showing up. I don't know why I haven't got any wood. I don't understand. I forgot Chewy. to shout out Chewy. Chewy streamed for three days this past week, and it was a pleasure and a joy seeing him streaming and talking to him. The man, he's funny. He's a funny ass man. Oh, he's he's great. I'm the guy's great. If you get a chance to catch him, watch him. I'm mad at my phone for not. I'm <laughs> still like you know following him, but it's not giving me any notifications. I hope he's back huh. on. I hope he's back online this week. Everybody, go give a follow to Chewy's our buddy Chewy Zilla, Chewy yep. like Chewbacca, Zilla like Godzilla, Chewy Zilla on Twitch. Great guy, from great the- guy. So 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 funny, entertaining. But talk to anybody in chat. It is. He, he's a, he's a lot of fun. Right. Big fan of the show. Big 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 fan. So, big fan. All right, everybody, have a good night. Bye.